Kropotkin was much more, of, I think, in my view, a much more positive character, um, anarchist thinker, than Bakunin, um, because he, he 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 did have a scientific like Bakunin and most thinkers in the 19th century. They they believed in a, a sort of scientific um, uh, the values of science, and somehow that there was a, this was, there was a definite scientific movement in society, which you could see was towards freedom, as Marx did. Um, so. Kropotkin was a geo was a geographer, and uh, but he he, that, and he he understood how humans were very much part of their in, environment, um, and looking and also interested in evolutionary theory, he saw that the, a key factor in evolution was mutual aid, that, that it was people who cooperated who had um, been most successful in not only in other species but also within humans, in, in creating a better society, and he also recognised this, diff this that there that that there was a that we all had an internal moral sense which was sufficient to, to guide us in a, in a society without law. Um, that because we had this sort of social instinct, and that within society, within the history, we can see these two trends between libertarian and authoritarian trends and tendencies, and we can encourage one 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 as opposed to the other. And in works like Fields, Factories, and uh, Workshops, he. Uh, suggested that society could be all organized, as most anarchists believe, in a, a decentralized way, um, and through the twin pillars of uh, federalism um, and decentralization, uh, with the commune for, um, at, at the local level being the, the, the primary locus of, of um, decision making, and where, and where you can then coordinate things at a, at a, a district, regional, and as, and as long as nations exist in, in a national level, but 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 they're only coordinating bodies which um, are under the instructions of of, of the communes or the councils, as you want, um, the, the, at, the, at the at the local level. So it's uh, it's not this top-down system which we have. So anyway, he developed those ideas in a number of books. In another book, in the conquest of bread, he recognised. That humans not can not, not only live by ble bread alone, but they also have um, psychological, emotional needs. I think that's a, a very important thing to emphasise. And uh, he he worked uh, a good friend of his. There was another geographer called Elisie Reclus, who was a French thinker who was involved in the Paris Commune um, and went into exile in, in, uh, afterwards uh, with it during the repression. The and he, um, I think, uh, anticipated a lot of, uh, of uh, modern libertarian or liberation ecology, as I call it, um, in, in extending his criticism of authority, not only within society, uh, his, uh, his view of how people dominated each other in society, but also extend it to, to the rest of, of, of the natural world. And so, you know, he, he believed that... Um, animals love and feel like we do and uh, we should not exploit them and he uh, he was a lifelong vegetarian as a result he also stressed the racial equality of all humans whereas Proudhon was was, was in some ways very nationalistic and, and even possibly um, um, uh, semitic anti-semitic that uh, People, men like Kropotkin and particularly Reclus were very, very much internationalists um, and stressing the racial equality and the, uh, the, the, the compassionate treatment of, of, of uh, animals uh, and even uh, of nature itself. He talks about how we, we um, can destroy the fertility of, of the land in, in, in the way we work. So um, I think that is a very positive aspect which anticipates modern um, liberation ecology or social ecology as well and he uh, he very much tried to live his, his his own beliefs and had a belief that like all those uh, anarchist thinkers at the time they did believe that there was a progress in in uh, visible in society and we were moving towards a, a freer society so that may, maybe people might question the idea of natural law in society nowadays um, but he, 
Cricket, particularly Kropotkin and Bakunin, and to a lesser extent Reclus, uh, they had a very strong influence, uh, particularly Kropotkin and Proudhon, on, on developments in, it, um, in Italy and uh, France and Spain and in Germany, but particularly in Southern Europe. Um, and and um, through Southern Europe into Latin America, uh, particularly when, when anarchists think anarchists moved over for different reasons in, into, the, um, into that part of the world. <coughs> uh, and I suppose the great social movements developed in, in, uh, in Italy and in Spain and, and France. And at the same time, there were strong, strong movements in Germany, to lesser extent in, in, uh, in Britain. <coughs> 